Hello, Hello everyone, everyone. we're, we're Moss Charmley. Today we're going to show you how to ink an image with the background color changed up so mm -hmm. you can see your image yeah. much easier to ink. Mm -hmm. <laughs> basically prepping your documents so that you can ink it a lot easier in Krita. Yes. You know? <laughs> if you're doing comics or if you're doing a painting illustration and you have a reference that you've done either in your sketchbook or um, just on a piece of paper, or a you know napkin from the restaurant, or a red, whatever you can you know use it yes. and ink it and you know yeah that becomes your reference. So yeah, so mm -hmm. first import your image, either a photograph or scan it. Mm -hmm. And for scanning, we recommend a minimum of three hundred and a maximum of six hundred DPI. Yes, so you want a very good image. Yeah, make sure make sure you got the one you want. You know so yeah. okay. Next thing is to open Krita. Let's start. <laughs> okay. It's opening. As you can see, it's 5.2.2 version. It's been 25 <laughs> years with Krita just recently. Fantastic. Okay, here we go. We're going to open up a new image, right? Yes. Okay. Because, say, this is something like, you know, your layout for your comic page or something like that. So that's why we're just doing this. Yeah. Yep. It's in a good way, right? Let's do yeah. it. Yeah, that's good. Okay. So this one's really There's big. Be, it's, it's a big one, but it's okay. It's nice, you know. Okay, uh, now we're going to actually open up the document that we've scanned. Yes. Mm -hmm. Or that so you photographed. So file, yes. open. Mm -hmm. And we have them in on the reference. Right here. There you go. And if we scan, we scan as a TIFF. Yeah. Definitely recommend scanning everything as TIFFs. When you're asked mm -hmm. you. Um, mm -hmm. It has Photoshop data. Yeah. PSD file data. And Don't we worry just about press it. No. Doesn't matter. <laughs> Doesn't matter. That's if you're using Photoshop. So, and this isn't Photoshop. So there's the image that you drew. Yeah. Right? From your sketchbook. Okay. The first step to take is to actually, you know, adjust the levels or the contrast. And to do this, you've got two options. But both of them are going to reside up in the taskbar, up in filters. Right? Yes. So we're going to go down filters. We're going to go down to adjust. And then we're going to go to auto contrast. Right? Yes. So just as an example, we'll second click down. It. Second down. So it'll do its little computationals, and that's, that's the result. dark, right? Yeah. Might be dark for you might be dark for everybody else, right? Yeah. Sometimes so. it it gets too dark, so mm -hmm. we're gonna edit and undo. Mm -hmm. That is an option. <laughs> it's an option. If you like how it would look for your specific image, that's one option. Yeah. This is the second option. Mm -hmm. So still go up to filter, go down to adjust, and then you want to go all the way down. It's basically the third from the bottom which is levels right yep right that here. one there we go and this is a little computational magic now in this window you, what you want to get to, what you want to do is you want to pull that middle little node you know the one that's the gray gray your gray tones you want to kind of pull it a little bit towards the peak and that's basically um, it's kind of like the wave form of dark to light so if you pull it a little bit towards the light, what you're going to actually do is make the lines a little darker, which might be what you really want, right? There we go. You can do it a little bit at a time. Yeah, I like to go too dark, right? Yeah, it, if you like, just just move it a little bit and then uh, just see it have the what it, the result of it. Yeah. So you can yeah. kind of get an idea of what you want. If it's too dark, sometimes you do lose detail, so you do want it to be just right. That's yeah. true, and sometimes if you pull the white out too much, mm -hmm. it, you can get a burnout effect, which makes it kind of yellow. Mm -hmm. Yeah, which isn't exactly good. But I would pull it, pull the white in a little bit, and yeah, and that will adjust your red tones as well. Only because when it goes to do, you know, the transfer, it's kind of, it has a brighter, you know, uh, tone to pick from. Yeah. So yeah, and when you're happy, you can just press OK, right? Yeah, we go. So here we go. There we go. Looks good. Nice. Okay. <laughs> so the next step is going to be desaturation, right? Yes. Okay, so we're going to take the color out of it, make it black and white. Mm -hmm. So that's up in filter, and then adjust, mm -hmm. and then, oops, sorry, mm -hmm. <laughs> adjust, and then desaturate right here. Yes. And then we go all the way down, we, we go to max on this. Mm -hmm. And then we press OK. Nice. <laughs> it sort of like brings it up. It's a little bit brighter and, and a little bit the contrast is nicer. Yeah. So yeah. And there's one last step. We've got to turn the white into an alpha layer. So we got to make the white transparent. Right? Yeah. This is this is cool. This is like magic. I love this step. <laughs> mm -hmm. so filter. And then you're going to want to go to colors. 
right? Yes. And then it's going to be color, color to, to alpha. alpha. Boom. Nice. Now here it shows, um, it's on default and sometimes it goes to last used, but we're putting it on default. Mm -hmm. And, but make sure it's um, like super duper white, like pure white. Mm -hmm. Oh, see how it changes? That's pretty cool. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but still yeah, on just, white. It's still on white, so that's nice. good. <laughs> if you bring it down a little bit, oh, yeah, bring look. that down, you can actually see how. See the difference? Yeah, it'll change the colors it's actually doing. It's very fascinating. So it's, it's really cool. It's really cool. So I know it's random, but. Kind of a cool little thing. It's cool. There we go. <laughs> so now that we got it how we like it, we're going to press OK. Mm -hmm. OK, we're going to go over to the layers down at wherever you have them. And this is a good time to rename this layer. Yes. Right? So we're going to name it Pencil Sketch. Mm -hmm. Oh, for original. There we go. Awesome. Now we're going to copy it. Yeah, so, so we go put it into that other image, yeah. So you go <laughs> edit. <laughs> edit <laughs> copy. Pro different program. <laughs> different program. So in Vita, edit to copy. Edit copy. <laughs> and, and now then mm -hmm. go to the other window that you made mm -hmm. and we're gonna um, edit paste. Mm -hmm. Here's where it's gonna be huge, so don't <laughs> worry, because the sizes for these are different. That's the total point of the demo. So yeah. That you can see how you can adjust the size no matter what and fit it to whatever document you have. You know, if you wanna fit it inside of a border on a page in the comic or whatever you're doing on your layout, this is the whole point. Yeah. Right. So here we're gonna go and show you how to do that by um, pressing this little window icon, mm -hmm. and it'll give you notes on the top. So make sure you hold down the shift key on your keyboard and you just make it tinier and then you know keep moving it up and you know make it hold down shift and keep making it to the right size mm -hmm. Oops, sorry <laughs> mm -hmm. so and so just keep holding down shift yeah to make it the size you want it may look a little blurry at this point but that's because the computer's just putting it into a manageable resolution. Yeah, it's, it's always yeah. trying to configure yeah. what you're doing mm -hmm. as yeah. you're doing it. Exactly. So, so it's, it's not, not like, you know, it's going to look bad in the end. So, yeah, you double click. Yeah, there you go. And now you've got it. And it's funny because it will take a little bit of time. So kind of cool, but it will yeah. do it. So, yeah, if you pick up a, a brush, you know. Yeah, it doesn't go back to the in. brush tool. Yeah. It's just booting in. Yep, and now it did it. See, popped right in. And nice. Color. <laughs> now, say, for example, you wanted to crop this or, or you don't want the border or things like that, you can crop this as well while it's in this, uh, on this layer. So if you want, if you ah, come yeah, up we to the crop that. tool, yeah, just in case, you know. So you can select the area you want, you know, don't, yeah, you know. Mm-hmm. And awesome. then just, just move those nodes around. And have fun and. Yeah. Bring it in a little so we can just crop it just to, awesome. Thank you, honey. Thank you. Mm -hmm. All right. Okay, double click on the inside when you're satisfied. But I totally screwed this up. That screwed, that cropped the whole image. It did. We just totally screwed up. We gotta redo this whole tutorial. <laughs> Edit undo. <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> yeah. Okay, it's a better time to crop your image. <laughs> it's a perfect example. Crop your image, image before you bring it in. Oh, oh. Okay, that's a good time to do it. <laughs> So that's an example of things just kind of getting a little screwed up, but don't worry. So True. just wanted to show that as an example that it's okay. You know, you'll figure out how to use this in a really good way that's gonna work good for you. So, okay. Now this is the whole point. We're gonna actually show how to turn this into a, you know, a reference for you to ink, right? Right. Great. Okay. So we're gonna create a new layer above the pencil sketch O layer. And we're gonna rename that blue line, right? Yes. Mm-hmm. Just because, like, you know, if you look at referencing when you're, you use that blue pencil sometimes. Um, yeah, right? Yes. Next next off, we're going to go to the paint bucket tool. Mm hmm And we're going to pick, you know, a blue color. Mm-hmm. Here, we could put it in the middle. I like it darker. But we'll show you what it does. And then you just press on it and it'll turn it all blue and it's it's its own layer so don't worry you're doing the right thing if it turns all blue mm -hmm. so it's okay yeah. um so the next step with that we're going to make this work so to do this we're going to hold down the shift key we're on the blue line layer and hold down the shift key 
and then we're going to press our pencil sketch mm -hmm. layer. And so those two are, are um, selected. So then we're going to right click with our mouse and we're going to go down to group and then quick group over here in this other menu and press that. Mm -hmm. And then it quick groups these images. This is what makes it happen. This is what's really cool. Here and then we'll, we'll name our, uh, our uh, group. We'll name it like reference mm -hmm. image. Blue, I don't know, whatever. whatever. <laughs> and we'll show you how to change the colors too. So, um, so now uh, we go back to the blue layer or the, the blue line layer, mm -hmm. and then uh, to the right side you'll see uh, three icons, and in the middle there's one that looks like an A. So just click that. And boom. And boom, there you go. Look at that. And you can ink. And then you can ink mm -hmm. right but over. Can, yeah. But you have to make another layer that's not in. That, that box, so make another layer here. And sometimes it puts it uh, in the that uh, sort of grouping. So you just uh, take that out and then just stick it above it. Mm -hmm. And then you could rename that layer, ink. There you go. And you have that. And you can also, if you want, um, if you want to change the color, maybe you don't like blue, uh, go back to that blue layer and uh, see you want like a, a purple color. So click a purple color you like and go to make sure you're on the paint, paint tool and click it and it makes it purple. So it's <laughs> really, really handy. Yeah. So you could change it to any color you want, whatever, you know, whatever, you know, whatever you really like and whatever's easiest for you. Yeah. So, uh, yeah. And then it's comfortable for your eyes. Yeah. You know, cause that, if you're inking and you're kind of looking at that. Yeah, for a while. Wow. So sometimes it, you know, just changing the color so it doesn't match the ink that you're using over yeah. it really helps. Totally. You can even it. adjust the opacity of the actual group. So say you don't want it so opake, you can just reduce that opacity yeah, right a little here. bit. So it's a little bit, you know, so it works really well. So actually, the whole group. Yeah, the whole group. You so click that, that for opacity. the whole group. So yeah. And then you can use it like that too. Yeah, if that's something you're more comfortable with. So yeah. And then just to make sure you're inking on that layer or you're painting above, you know, you don't want to put anything else inside of that group because it'll all be affected. Because when you put it in a group in Krita, it creates um, a specific like contagions of that, effects. Yes. Is that the right? Contagious. It, yeah. It's contagious effects. Yeah. Right? Yeah. So. And yeah. here, here there's like a layer here. You don't need it. This is, yeah. this was just something that uh, it started exactly. out making. Yeah. So you, you, you don't have to, so you can just delete that. <laughs> so, yeah. So yeah. So feel free to just start inking over your mm -hmm. picture and, you know, have a good time with that. Oh, also, you know, before we oh, head yeah. out, we want to show you how this to. This is a pro tip. <laughs> pro tip. <laughs> if you have a lot of layers and it's confusing to you, yeah. um, here's how to uh, show different kind of color coding your layers. Mm -hmm. So all you have to do is right click. We're going to re recolor the whole group. So we're going to right click on the group layer. And here on the top here, you'll see all these colors. This is what colors your group. Mm -hmm. So here we're going to pick like a green mm -hmm. and it will make all of those green. Yeah. It's nice to keep so, it just visually organized. Yeah. yeah. And say you want your ink separate, a mm -hmm. separate color. You can make it like yellow Exactly. and it will change it just be like to that. yellow. Okra. <laughs> it's an ochre. Ochre. Sorry. Ochre. <laughs> so it's really neat. Yeah, you, you could change to purple too if you want. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. it's just kind of Chartreuse. fun. <laughs> it's fun. It's so nice. it, it works out really well. It works out well. It's good that way. I like that you can visually organize your layers with different color coding. I like that. Yeah, I like it's that nice too. It's, it's a really cool tip and it really helps out. Yeah. So, okay. Right? Yeah, so just remember to get on that brush. Mm -hmm. Get on the brush tool and be yeah. on the ink layer and have fun. <laughs> right? So there you go. Yeah. 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 Anything else? We're good? I think we're good. Okay. <laughs> we hope, you know, if this helps you out, let us know in the comments yeah. and have a good time drawing. Yeah, definitely. If you like other videos like this, let us know. If you have other questions or things you'd like us to really go over, let us know in the comments below. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Monster Monster out. Out. <laughs> okay.